Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. Watch Roberta Mazzelli in performing colorectal ESD in two subsequent patients. This is now patient 2, a 81-year-old male with a large and suspicious rectal adenoma. And uh, we're using the latest generation um, a Pentax uh, scope. Roberta is here. Please, Roberta. And uh, this is what she's going to show. You see this? Before she takes over again, let me see what she has done. I see here a cut, cut. Oh, wow. So wow. she did already tunneling of this lesion that was starting almost at the anal verge. As you can see a big bulky lesion. You see using this spectacular scope, we can have a different modality of uh, uh, chromo endoscopy. We can look to the PIP pattern and we can look to other features, of course, also vascular pattern. But what is extremely important is that Roberta considered this lesion at high risk for um, advanced histology or submucosal invasion. And due to the location and the whole the age of the patients, I think that M block removal should be considered as well as um, um, ESD. So normally we use a hybrid knife for ESD, so I don't want to take a uh, longer time to Roberta. Roberta, keep going. Yeah. So hello again. I'll show you exactly what I did. I did the tunneling. So I can enter also in the tunneling and the retroflex. And this maneuver gives me the traction that usually we don't have during ESD. The other knife is inside. So are you saying Open. You're, doing the, you're using the traction modality yeah. just, just with the scope and with the yeah. gravity, nothing else? No. So okay. I can easily inject. So uh, Roberta Brian then Saunders here. I will the traction cut. You've almost finished. You don't. Looks like a very nice dissection. How, how long have you been inject, going? Check for my submucosal layer. So if I may ask, so this is the beauty of ivory knife. You can inject yeah. and easily cut. So we are using the section width. Yeah. But also, I know that you testing when we do POEM. Yeah. Also another, uh, I would say, coagulation modality, yeah. which is... Uh, the precise sect. Precise. Yeah, I really like it because, as the name said, it's really precise. So it's a coagulation it's setting? It's a coagulation setting, exactly. So nice traction. So you can keep going cutting yeah, in this as way. long as you want. So, and what about this uh, mm, uh, Pentax scope you're using? What is the maneuverability? So you suggest yeah. upper GI scope for rectal ESD? Always, yeah, because the flexibility and the maneuverability is really optimal. And in the rectal ESD is crucial because sometimes, and most of the times, you have very big lesion in the rectum and you need to check exactly where are you cutting. So I see you just moving the scope and not yeah. touching the device. At all. So and you have a specific distance. Yeah, I fix it, you know, in the distance Once I like. Once it's fixed, okay. So you think that just injecting with the ivory knife can provide yeah. additional but hemostatic effect like this? I use it like this, yeah. Okay, and beautiful. Then I stay there and I precisely Very beautiful coagulate. demonstration of stasis. Sometimes it works, sometimes when the vessel is too big, it doesn't. I already use and I open the bipolar forceps for this lesion because I encounter very big vessels. But let me say to see if this one is working or not. It is. Okay, okay good. This slide shows the patient's histology and follow-up results. Here you see the endoscope and the accessory used. And finally, this is Roberta Marcelli's recommended reading for this case.